Deuteronomy 8, 18. Until you come to that place where you're not just trying to make money to feed yourself, take care of yourself, your wife and your children. Until you cross that line where money is not just so that you can be fine. Until you come to that place where you are not trying to be rich because poverty is pursuing you. And you are running as far and as fast. Because the truth is when you finally get rich with that mentality, you will either, either self-destruct or you use the money for the wrong purposes. You use the money to, to, to secure yourself from your fears not to fulfill a purpose you will want more money just to to guard yourself so that poverty doesn't catch up with you put it up there Deuteronomy 8.18 he said but this is the reason why I give you power to make wealth this is the reason I put you in that company. This is the reason I put you in KPMG. This is the reason why I gave you that business and gave you that creativity. He said, and you shall remember because it's easy to forget. You were a prayer warrior before you got the job. Now the job, you've gotten the job and you thought prayer is just so that you can get a job. Which means if we plant the same you in an environment where everything is working, you stop praying. Because prayer for you is a means to an end. There will not be need to pray now when there's power, when there's money, when everything is working. Why would you need to pray? That's because you don't understand that prayer, first of all, secures your fellowship with God. And prayer is a tool for transformation. Jesus was already Jesus when in prayer on the Mount of Transfiguration. The Bible said, whilst he prayed, his figure was changed. He was transformed. So prayer is for fellowship. Prayer is for personal transformation before it is for making, meeting your needs. So if you stop praying in such an environment where everything is working, what happens is that you will be fat on the outside but you will be lean on the inside. All the habits you were fighting before, you now have money to fund them. <laughs> ah, yeah. I didn't get any amens. Because money is an amplifier. Money does not change anybody. Money just reveals who you are. Am I talking about say? Money just amplifies. If you're a good man, money will make you a gooder man. <laughs> if you're wicked, money will help you reveal wickedness so if you are still a lustful person and you now pray Lord give me this job or I die and God now gave you the job now you can live alone you can, you can buy your own gadgets you can, you can invite any lady to your house I like that smile are you going to say you are not squatting with anybody all the Barriers are off. That's when we now know. Listen, it's not worship until you have options. Yes, sir. You are not worshiping God. Some of you are worshiping God under duress. You see this situation I am now. What else can I do? I need to worship Him. It's not worship until you have an option not to worship. It's not prayer until you have an option where you don't have a prayer point. There's a prayer dimension where there's no prayer point. Some of you, your prayer list, eh? God had to call angels. You say, why, why this boy? This, how many, does he know how many people on earth? Hmm. Your prayer list is so long. Do you know the more you grow spiritually? One way to know your spiritual maturity is check your prayer point. Or the kind of prayer points you have. Why should you be killing all your enemies after five years in the faith? How did you even make these enemies? 
we wrestle not against flesh and blood you are taking up your colleague at work you don't know your colleague is a puppet you should be more you should have more spiritual intelligence that is not that guy no there's what's called the prince of this world people behave they don't even know why they are doing what they do people hate you they don't know why if you ask them why do you hate us, I don't know why I hate, I just hate him. Why? There are spirits. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. All of you that say there's, there's cause, is a cause from your family. All of us have family cause. So. As far as you were born into Adam, you are you are there's cause. You didn't know say. So we say, Pastor Gideon, you don't know my own, my own family is not cause. As far as you were born into Adam, you were born under a curse. You think I have money, when I get money, I'm no more curse. Go and ask some rich people. Their own, the curse is operating in a rich way. Higher level, madness curse. You, you are still together. Their money is funding the madness. You say, once I'm rich like this guy, I'm settled. That's, that's the height of spiritual immaturity. Am I blessing anybody today?